Imagine for a moment, what if I told you there's just one thing holding you back from everything you've ever wanted? One thing that once you truly understand and focus on it, the universe simply can't ignore you. Think about it all the hard work, the sleepless nights, the endless planning, yet nothing seems to change. It feels like the universe isn't listening, right? But what if you're just focusing on the wrong things? You see, most people are trapped in this cycle of frustration, chasing goals, spreading their energy too thin, and wondering why their dreams never materialize. It's not that the universe is ignoring you, it's that you haven't learned how to speak its language yet. You haven't learned how to focus on the one thing that makes the universe pay attention to you. In this video, I'm going to share with you something that most people overlook a key truth that separates those who struggle from those who seem to attract everything they want with ease. You'll learn how your focus shapes your reality and how mastering this one thing will finally align you with the forces of the universe. It's a simple shift, but it changes everything. And by the end of this video, you'll have the tools to unlock the full potential of your focus and the universe will no longer be able to ignore you. We're going to dive into why most people feel stuck, constantly working, pushing, but getting nowhere. I'll show you the real reason behind this struggle and more importantly, how you can break free from it. I'll reveal the lesser known forces that shape your reality and how you can use them to your advantage. Trust me, this isn't something you hear every day. The thing is, once you understand this secret, you'll start to notice shifts in your life doors opening, opportunities appearing, things just falling into place. But only if you're willing to focus on what really matters. It's not about working harder, it's about working smarter, directing your energy where it counts. And the best part? The universe wants to give you what you desire. You just need to tune into the right frequency. So why should you watch this video until the end? Because the truth is, most people will continue living their lives wondering why the universe never seems to be on their side, but not you. After watching this video, you'll understand exactly what's been holding you back, and more importantly, how to turn it around. You'll learn how to stop feeling invisible to the universe and start attracting the abundance, success, and happiness you've been longing for we're going to explore some surprising facts that few people know about the law of attraction and how your attention really works. These aren't just surface level ideas you've heard before. These are insights that can completely shift your approach to life. And once you make this shift, the universe will have no choice but to respond. Welcome to Infinite Inspiration, your go-to source for unlocking your mind's power and transforming your reality. If you're ready to take control of your life to finally make the universe notice you, then you're in the right place. Before we dive deeper, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future content. We're here to help you tap into your infinite potential and guide you on your journey toward abundance and fulfillment. Before we talk about the key to making the universe respond, let's first understand the foundation focus. Focus is not just about paying attention to something, it's about channeling your entire being, your thoughts, emotions, and actions into one direction. Without focus, no matter how much energy or effort you put in, you'll find yourself drifting, never really moving toward your goal. Think of it like a magnifying glass. When you concentrate sunlight through the lens, it becomes powerful enough to start a fire. But without that focus, the same sunlight just disperses into thin air without any real effect. This is the power of focus. Most people are living their lives without this kind of concentrated focus. They're busy working, planning, and juggling countless tasks, but their energy is scattered across so many different areas. They have dreams, they have desires, but their attention is pulled in a thousand directions at once. One moment they're thinking about their career, the next they're worried about relationships, then they're distracted by social media, and so on. When your energy is divided like that, how can the universe ever know what you truly want? It's like sending out mixed signals and the universe can't respond to something that's unclear. When we talk about manifesting desires, focus becomes the most critical element. Focus is like a signal you send out to the universe. It tells the universe, this is what I want. This is where my energy is going. But here's the thing, the universe doesn't respond to half-hearted focus. 
If your attention is constantly shifting, if you're jumping from one goal to the next without ever truly committing to one, you're not sending out a clear message. The universe responds to clarity, and clarity comes from focus. Think about it, successful people aren't successful because they're necessarily more talented or have more resources. They're successful because they know how to focus. They decide on a goal and pour all their energy into that one direction. They don't allow distractions to pull them away from their purpose. When you look at someone who's achieving great things, you're looking at someone who has mastered the art of focus. Their attention is aligned with their desires, and that's when the universe starts working in their favor. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Why is focus so important in manifesting your desires? It's because where attention goes, energy flows. This is a universal principle that cannot be ignored. Whatever you focus on, you're feeding with your energy. If you focus on success, growth, and abundance, that's what you'll attract. But if your focus is scattered, if you're constantly worrying, doubting, or distracted, then your energy is dispersed. And the universe doesn't have a clear message to work with. Most people don't realize how scattered their focus is. They set a goal, but then immediately allow themselves to get distracted by everyday life. They spend more time focusing on what they don't want rather than what they do want. For example, someone might say they want to be financially successful, but their focus is on their financial struggles. They're constantly thinking about their debt, their bills, or what they don't have. What they're actually doing is feeding that negative situation with their focus, and the universe continues to reflect that back to them. This is why focus is so powerful. It's not just about setting a goal, it's about keeping your attention locked on that goal, no matter what. It's about aligning your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions with what you want to manifest. When you focus on what you desire, you're telling the universe, this is what I'm ready for. This is what I'm aligning myself with, and that's when the universe responds. But focusing doesn't just mean thinking about your goal once in a while. It's about making it a part of your daily life. It's about immersing yourself in the feeling of already having what you desire. If you want to manifest something, you need to live in alignment with that desire, and focus is what allows you to do that. It keeps your energy in the right direction and helps you block out the distractions that could pull you off course. One of the biggest challenges people face is maintaining their focus. Life is full of distractions, and it's easy to get caught up in the noise. Social media, emails, daily stresses, these things constantly pull our attention away from what truly matters. But here's the thing, the universe doesn't care about distractions. It only responds to where your focus is. So if your attention is split, you're sending out a mixed signal. And that's why so many people feel stuck. They wonder why they're not manifesting their desires, but it's because their focus is too scattered to create any real change. The role of focus in manifesting your desires is about more than just thoughts. It's about aligning yourself with the energy of the universe. You see, everything in this universe is energy, and like attracts like. When you focus on something with intention, you align your energy with the frequency of that desire. It's almost like tuning into a specific radio station. If your focus is clear and sharp, you're tuning into the frequency of success, abundance, or whatever it is you want. And when you're on that frequency, the universe has no choice but to respond. But if your focus is scattered, you're trying to tune into too many stations at once, and the signal gets lost. So how do you align your focus with the energy of the universe? First, it starts with clarity. You need to be crystal clear about what you want. This isn't the time for vague desires or half-hearted wishes. You need to know exactly what you want to manifest. Once you're clear on that, the next step is to eliminate distractions. This means cutting out anything that pulls your attention away from your goal. Whether it's negative thinking, doubts, or external distractions, you need to be ruthless about protecting your focus. Next, you need to live as though your desire is already on its way. This means aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with what you want to manifest. If you want abundance, focus on the feeling of abundance. If you want success, focus on what success feels like. This doesn't mean ignoring reality. It means training your mind to stay focused on the outcome you want, rather than the obstacles in your way. 
focus is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And as you strengthen your focus, you'll find that the universe starts to respond in ways you never imagined. You'll notice that opportunities begin to appear, doors start to open, and things just seem to fall into place. It's not magic, it's the power of focus aligning you with the energy of the universe. So before you go any further on your journey of manifesting your desires, take a moment to assess where your focus is right now. Is it clear and directed, or is it scattered and divided? If you can learn to harness the power of focus, you'll unlock a force that the universe simply cannot ignore. Before we talk about how focus shapes your reality, we need to address something even more fundamental clarity of intention. You've probably heard people say that you need to know what you want in life, but there's a deeper layer to this. It's not just about saying, I want success or I want happiness, it's about being crystal clear on what that looks like for you personally. Without clarity, even the most powerful focus will scatter in too many directions. Think about it, how can you manifest something if you're not even sure what it is you truly desire? Clarity of intention means getting specific with the universe. When you send out vague signals, you get vague results. Let's say you're listening to the radio, but the signal isn't clear. You'll hear bits and pieces, but the message won't come through cleanly. The same applies when your intentions are fuzzy. You might get a few results here and there, but nothing that truly aligns with what you want. To make the universe respond, you need to tune into the right frequency, the frequency of your specific well-defined desire. So what does it mean to have clarity of intention? It means knowing exactly what you want in vivid detail, not just in terms of broad categories like wealth or love, but what wealth or love looks like for you. Do you want financial freedom to travel the world? Or do you want wealth to support your family and live comfortably? When you think about love, do you imagine a deep, committed partnership? Or are you more focused on building a community of close friends? The universe can only respond when your desires are clear, specific, and aligned with what you truly want. It's important to remember that vague intentions lead to vague outcomes. If you say, I want more money, the universe might give you a small bonus at work. And that's it. If you say, I want to live in abundance with enough wealth to enjoy financial freedom and security. You've given the universe a much clearer message to work with. You're tuning your intention like a radio signal, making sure that the message you're sending is sharp and precise. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Why is this clarity so important? When you don't define what you want clearly, your energy is scattered. One day you might be thinking about career success, the next about finding the right partner, and then worrying about something completely unrelated. This lack of clarity sends mixed signals. The universe doesn't know what to respond to because you haven't fully decided what you're asking for. You might be putting energy into several areas, but none of them are aligned with a clear intention, so nothing really happens. Or worse, you end up manifesting something you don't really want because your intentions weren't clear. Clarity is more than just a mental exercise. It's about fully aligning your energy with your goal. When you know exactly what you want, you can focus all your thoughts, emotions, and actions toward that goal. This creates a kind of magnetic pull, drawing the people, circumstances, and opportunities that match your intention. When you're clear about your desires, the universe becomes clear about how to respond to you. Let's go back to the radio analogy. Imagine you're turning the dial, trying to find the right station. You hear static, some faint music, maybe a few words here and there, but it's not the full signal. That's what happens when you lack clarity in your intentions. You're sending out a weak, unfocused signal. But once you tune in perfectly, everything becomes crystal clear. The music plays without interruption, the message is delivered, and you're fully connected. In the same way, clarity of intention allows you to tune into the universe, aligning your energy perfectly with what you want to manifest. Here's an important point to understand clarity doesn't just mean knowing what you want. It also means feeling what it's like to already have it. When you're clear about your desires, it's not just a mental exercise. It's emotional too. You need to be able to visualize your goal so vividly that you can feel the excitement, the joy, or the peace it would bring you. 
This emotional clarity strengthens your intention because it connects your thoughts with your feelings, creating a powerful force that the universe can't ignore. Another crucial aspect of clarity is alignment. When you're clear about your desires, you naturally align your actions and behaviors with that goal. Think about it if you're not really sure what you want. How can you take the right steps to achieve it? Without clarity, your actions are all over the place. You might start working toward one goal, but then shift your focus when something else catches your attention. This lack of alignment causes confusion, and as a result, the universe mirrors the confusion back to you. But when you're clear, your actions are purposeful. Every step you take brings you closer to your goal because you know exactly what you're working toward. Defining your desires also helps you recognize opportunities when they come your way. When your intentions are clear, you become more attuned to the signs and synchronicities that guide you toward your goal. You start noticing opportunities that were always there but had been invisible because your focus was scattered. Clarity helps you see the path more clearly, and the universe responds by guiding you toward the right people, places, and situations. But let's be real, getting clear about what you want isn't always easy. Sometimes we think we want something, only to realize later that it doesn't align with our true desires. This is why clarity of intention requires introspection and honesty with yourself. You need to ask yourself, what do I really want? What will truly make me happy? It's not enough to chase goals that sound good on paper or that society tells you are important. Your intentions need to come from a place of genuine desire. When you're honest with yourself and set goals that align with your true values, that's when you'll find the universe responding in powerful ways. So how do you achieve this level of clarity? It starts with self-reflection. Take time to sit with your thoughts and ask yourself some deep questions. What do you truly want in life? What makes you feel fulfilled? What kind of experiences, people, and situations do you want to attract? Don't rush this process. Clarity takes time. Write down your thoughts, create vision boards, meditate on your desires, whatever helps you gain a deeper understanding of what you want. Once you're clear, the next step is to commit to that intention fully. Don't second guess yourself or allow doubts to creep in. When you're clear about your desires, you need to have unwavering faith that they will manifest. This doesn't mean being rigid or inflexible, but rather being firm in your commitment to your goals. The universe will respond to that clarity, but only if you believe in it wholeheartedly. Remember, clarity of intention isn't just about focusing on a goal, it's about becoming one with that goal. It's about aligning every part of your being, your thoughts, emotions, and actions with what you want to manifest. When your intention is clear and your energy is aligned, the universe has no choice but to respond. Your desires start to manifest, not because you're forcing them, but because you're in perfect harmony with the frequency of what you want. This is the magic of clarity. It turns your vague wishes into powerful intentions that the universe can't ignore. So before you take another step on your journey of manifestation, take a moment to ask yourself, are you clear about what you truly want? If the answer is yes, then you're already well on your way to making the universe respond. Before we talk about how focus shapes your reality, it's essential to understand the foundation behind it, the law of attraction. You've probably heard this term before, but many people only grasp the surface of what it truly means. The law of attraction is a universal principle that suggests that like attracts like. In simple terms, whatever you focus on, whether positive or negative, will be drawn to you. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions send out energy into the universe, and the universe reflects that energy back to you in the form of experiences and opportunities. The law of attraction works because the universe is made up of energy, and your thoughts and emotions are forms of energy as well. Everything you think, feel, and believe has a frequency. When your energy is aligned with a particular thought or emotion, you're essentially broadcasting that frequency into the world and the universe responds by sending back experiences that match that frequency. It's like tuning into a specific radio station when you're on the right frequency, you receive the signal loud and clear. But if your thoughts and emotions are all over the place, the signal gets fuzzy and you end up receiving mixed results. The key here is attention. 
the law of attraction is fundamentally tied to where you place your attention. Whatever you focus on consciously or unconsciously grows. If your attention is constantly on negative situations, things like stress, lack, or failure, then that's the energy you're sending out, and the universe will mirror that back to you. On the other hand, if your attention is focused on abundance, success, and positive outcomes, you'll start to attract more of those things into your life. This isn't magic, it's a simple matter of energy responding to energy. Here's where most people get it wrong, they think about what they don't want more than what they do want. They'll say things like, I don't want to be broke, or I don't want to be stuck in this job, but in doing so, they're putting all their attention on the very things they want to avoid. The universe doesn't distinguish between wanting and not wanting, it simply responds to where your energy is directed. So if your thoughts and feelings are focused on lack or struggle, that's exactly what you'll continue to attract. To shift this, you need to direct your attention purposefully. This means consciously choosing to focus on what you want to create in your life. When you align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with your desires, you're sending a clear message to the universe. You're essentially saying, this is where I'm directing my energy. And this is what I'm ready to receive the universe responds to that clarity by bringing you the experiences, opportunities, and resources that match your energy. Let's dive deeper into the idea that what you focus on grows. Have you ever noticed that when you're having a bad day, it seems like one negative thing after another happens? Maybe you spill your coffee in the morning, and then you get stuck in traffic, and by the time you get to work, your whole day feels like it's unraveling. That's because your attention is stuck on the negative energy of the situation, and it keeps building momentum. The more you focus on the frustration, the more things seem to go wrong. Now imagine the opposite. You wake up feeling grateful, focused on the good things in your life, and everything seems to fall into place. You get a green light on your way to work. Someone compliments you, and opportunities seem to come out of nowhere. This is the law of attraction in action, whatever you place your attention on expands. When your energy is directed toward positivity, more positive things start to show up in your reality. The law of attraction is not just about thoughts, it's also about the alignment of your entire being, your thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's not enough to just think about what you want, you need to feel it and take steps toward it. Your thoughts create the blueprint, your emotions add the energy, and your actions bring it into reality. When all three are aligned, you become a powerful magnet for your desires. Let's break this down further. Your thoughts are the first step. They're like seeds you plant in your mind. Every thought you think has the potential to grow into something real, but only if you give it attention. If you constantly think about what you don't want, you're planting the seeds of negativity. But if you focus on positive, constructive thoughts, you're planting the seeds for success, abundance, and happiness. Next are your emotions. Emotions are the fuel that powers your thoughts. You can think about success all day, but if you don't feel it, if you're stuck in a mindset of fear, doubt, or worry your energy isn't aligned with what you want to attract. The universe responds not just to what you think, but to how you feel. This is why gratitude is so powerful. When you feel grateful for what you already have, you're sending out a signal of abundance, and the universe responds by giving you more to be grateful for. Finally, there are your actions. Thoughts and emotions are essential, but they need to be followed by action. Taking action is like giving the universe a signal that you're serious about your intentions. It doesn't have to be a massive, life-changing action right away. Even small steps in the direction of your goal show the universe that you're aligning your physical reality with your internal desires. For example, if you're focused on attracting financial success, your thoughts might be about abundance, your emotions might be filled with confidence and excitement, but you also need to take real steps whether it's starting a new project, learning new skills, or managing your money wisely. When your thoughts, emotions, and actions are aligned, the universe can't ignore your energy. You're no longer sending out mixed signals. You're broadcasting a clear, powerful frequency that the universe responds to by bringing your desires into reality. This is the essence of the law of attraction. It's not about wishing for things and hoping they'll magically appear. 
It's about becoming the kind of person who naturally attracts what they want by aligning their energy with their desires. But here's where many people get stuck. They might be clear on what they want, and they might even feel excited about it, but they fail to take consistent action. Or they take action but are filled with doubt or fear, which creates resistance. The key to making the law of attraction work for you is to remove that resistance. When you focus too much on how or when something will happen, you're sending out a signal of lack or impatience, which creates blocks. The universe responds best when you focus on the feeling of already having what you desire and trust that the path will unfold in the right way and at the right time. It's also important to understand that the law of attraction works both ways. If you focus on negative emotions like fear, anger, or jealousy, the universe will respond to that energy too. You'll attract more situations that match those emotions, reinforcing the negative cycle. This is why it's so important to become aware of where your attention is going throughout the day. Are you focusing on what you want, or are you giving your energy to things that drain or frustrate you? To master the law of attraction, you need to practice mindful attention. This means paying close attention to your thoughts, emotions, and actions, and making sure they're aligned with the reality you want to create. It takes practice, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Over time, you'll notice that your reality starts to shift in ways that seem almost effortless. Opportunities appear, solutions come to you, and things just start to fall into place. In conclusion, the law of attraction is all about the power of your attention. Whatever you focus on, you attract into your life. When your thoughts, emotions, and actions are aligned with your desires, you become a magnet for the experiences you want to create. The universe can't ignore your energy when it's directed purposefully and with clarity. So the next time you catch yourself thinking about what you don't want, remember that your attention has the power to shape your reality. Shift your focus to what you want to grow and watch as the universe responds in ways you never imagined. Before we talk about manifesting your desires and attracting what you truly want from the universe, we need to address one of the biggest obstacles in the process, distractions. In today's world, distractions are everywhere, and they dilute our focus in ways we don't even realize. Whether it's scrolling through social media, being overwhelmed by negative thoughts, or constantly doubting ourselves, distractions keep us from aligning our energy with our goals. If you're not careful, they can become powerful enough to stop you from moving forward altogether. Let's start by looking at the common distractions we all face. One of the biggest is social media. Platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter are designed to grab your attention and keep you scrolling. They bombard you with information, updates, and other people's lives, pulling your focus in a hundred different directions. Every time you get a notification, your mind shifts from what you're working on to something else, breaking your flow and taking your energy away from your goals. What makes social media even more dangerous is that it's addictive before you know it. You've spent hours scrolling without realizing how much time and energy you've wasted. Social media isn't the only distraction. There's also the constant stream of negative thoughts that can invade your mind. These might come in the form of self-doubt, worry, or fear about the future. Maybe you're thinking, what if I fail, or I'm not good enough to achieve my goals, these thoughts, even though they seem small, can have a massive impact on your focus. When you give your attention to them, you're essentially feeding them, and they start to grow. Your energy gets tied up in fear and doubt, instead of being directed toward your goals. Another major distraction is doubt, whether it's doubting yourself, your abilities, or even the process of manifestation itself. Doubt can creep in quietly, undermining your confidence and causing you to lose focus. You might start out motivated and determined, but as soon as doubt enters the picture, you begin to question everything. Is this really possible? Can I actually achieve what I want these thoughts slowly chip away at your focus until you're no longer moving forward with purpose? But it's not just about external distractions. There are also internal ones, like the fear of failure or even the fear of success. Sometimes, the closer you get to your goal, the more fear kicks in. You might worry about the responsibilities that come with success or how your life will change once you achieve your desires. These fears can cause you to self-sabotage by diverting your attention to things that don't matter 
ultimately keeping you from reaching your full potential. So how do we overcome these distractions and cultivate a laser sharp focus? The first step is awareness. You need to become conscious of the distractions in your life. Take a moment to reflect on what is pulling your focus away from your goals. Is it social media, negative self-talk, doubts about your abilities? Once you've identified your distractions, you can start taking action to remove or reduce them. One of the best ways to cut out distractions is to limit your exposure to them. If social media is a major distraction for you, set specific times during the day to check your accounts and stick to them. Turn off notifications so that you're not constantly being pulled out of your work or focused to respond to a message or check an update. You might also consider taking a break from social media altogether for a day or even a week to see how much more focused and productive you become without that constant distraction. Another powerful tool for overcoming distractions is mindfulness. When negative thoughts or doubts start to arise, instead of letting them take over, acknowledge them and then let them go. This might sound simple, but it takes practice. Mindfulness allows you to stay present in the moment and keep your focus on what truly matters. Whenever you catch yourself getting distracted by a negative thought, bring your attention back to the present and refocus on your goal. Over time, this practice will help you build mental discipline and stay on track. In addition to mindfulness, learning how to manage your environment can greatly improve your focus. The environment you work in has a huge impact on your ability to concentrate. If your space is cluttered or noisy, your mind is more likely to be scattered. Create a clean, organized environment that supports your focus. Remove any unnecessary distractions from your workspace, whether it's your phone, a messy desk, or even a TV in the background. Surround yourself with things that inspire and motivate you to stay on track, like vision boards, affirmations, or calming music that helps you focus. Time management is another critical factor in overcoming distractions. A lot of times we get distracted because we haven't clearly defined how we're going to spend our time. When you don't have a plan, it's easy to get pulled in different directions. Create a schedule that outlines specific times for working on your goals and stick to it. Use techniques like time blocking, where you dedicate certain blocks of time to one specific task and avoid multitasking, which divides your attention and reduces the quality of your work. Another technique that can help cut out distractions is setting micro goals. Sometimes distractions happen because the task at hand feels too overwhelming or large, so your mind seeks an escape. By breaking down your big goals into smaller, more manageable tasks, you make it easier to stay focused and less likely to seek distractions. Each time you complete a small task, you get a sense of accomplishment, which motivates you to keep going. One common internal distraction that can be particularly hard to overcome is the habit of overthinking. Overthinking often happens when we're trying to control the outcome of a situation or when we're worried about making the wrong choice. The problem with overthinking is that it keeps your mind stuck in a loop of indecision and prevents you from taking action. To break free from this, practice focusing on what you can control in the present moment and trust that the process will unfold as it's meant to. Let go of the need to know all the answers right away and focus instead on taking consistent, aligned action toward your goals. Another way to sharpen your focus is by practicing gratitude. Gratitude shifts your attention from what's lacking in your life to what's already working. When you're grateful, you're less likely to be distracted by negative thoughts or feelings of lack because your mind is focused on abundance. Start each day by writing down a few things you're grateful for. This simple practice can help rewire your brain to focus on the positive, making it easier to maintain your focus on what truly matters. Lastly, building a strong morning routine can set the tone for your entire day and help you stay focused. The way you start your day has a big impact on your mental clarity and energy levels. Instead of reaching for your phone or jumping into a busy schedule right away, take time in the morning to center yourself. This could be through meditation, journaling, or setting intentions for the day. A solid morning routine helps you ground your energy and ensures that you're starting the day with a clear, focused mind. In a world filled with distractions, staying focused requires conscious effort. 
But the good news is that focus is a skill that can be developed. It's not about never getting distracted, but about recognizing when distractions come up and having the tools to bring your attention back to what matters. Over time, as you practice cutting out distractions and cultivating focus, you'll notice that it becomes easier to stay aligned with your goals. Remember, the universe responds to where your attention goes. If your attention is scattered, your energy is scattered, and so are the results. But when you cut out distractions and direct your attention purposefully, you send a clear signal to the universe that you're ready to receive your desires. Overcoming distractions is the key to staying aligned with your intentions and manifesting the life you truly want. So the next time you feel your focus slipping, take a deep breath, let go of the distraction, and bring your attention back to the present moment. Every time you do this, you're training your mind to stay focused on what matters most. Before we talk about how to transform your life by manifesting your desires, we need to address something critical, the importance of sharpening your focus. You may have a clear vision of what you want, but without the ability to consistently direct your energy and attention toward that vision, you'll struggle to make it a reality. The universe responds to the signals you send out, and those signals are determined by your focus. So how can you sharpen that focus and align it with your goals? Let's dive into some actionable steps that you can start implementing right away. First, one of the most powerful tools for sharpening your focus is meditation. Meditation allows you to quiet your mind and train your attention. When you meditate, you practice observing your thoughts without getting caught up in them. This is crucial because a scattered mind full of distractions and unproductive thoughts will pull you away from your goals. By meditating daily, even if it's just for five to 10 minutes, you begin to develop the ability to center your thoughts. When distractions arise, instead of letting them dominate your attention, you can recognize them and bring your focus back to the present moment. Meditation doesn't have to be complicated. You can start by finding a quiet space, sitting comfortably and focusing on your breath. Every time your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breathing. Over time, this practice strengthens your ability to focus on one thing at a time, which is essential for manifesting your desires. When you can control your attention, you can direct it more intentionally toward your goals. Another mindfulness practice that can sharpen your focus is visualization. Visualization is the process of mentally picturing the outcome you want to achieve. It's not just about seeing it in your mind, but also feeling the emotions associated with it. When you visualize your desired outcome daily, you're programming your mind to focus on that specific goal. The more vivid and detailed your visualization, the more powerful it becomes. For example, if you want to achieve a certain career goal, imagine yourself already in that position. Picture the environment, the people around you, the feeling of success and fulfillment. By doing this, you're aligning your thoughts and emotions with the reality you want to create, which makes it easier for the universe to respond. This practice not only sharpens your focus, but also keeps you motivated and connected to your goal. Along with meditation and visualization, it's essential to write down your specific goals. There's something powerful about putting your goals into words. When you write them down, you're making them concrete and giving them form. It's no longer just a vague idea floating in your mind. It becomes something real that you can work toward. Writing down your goals also helps you clarify what you truly want which is a crucial step in focusing your energy. But don't stop at writing them down once. Review your goals regularly daily if possible. This keeps them fresh in your mind and reinforces your commitment to them. Every time you review your goals, you're reminding yourself of where you want to direct your attention and energy. This habit creates a sense of accountability and ensures that your focus doesn't drift away from your objectives. In addition to writing down your goals, it's important to break them down into smaller, achievable tasks. Sometimes when we think about our big goals, they can feel overwhelming, and that's when distractions creep in. The mind looks for an escape when a task feels too large or unmanageable. By setting smaller, more achievable tasks that are aligned with your larger goals, you make the process feel less daunting. For instance, if your goal is to start a successful business, don't focus on the entire journey all at once. Instead, break it down into smaller steps like researching your market, creating a business plan, or reaching out to potential clients. 
Each small task brings you closer to your ultimate goal, and completing these tasks gives you a sense of accomplishment, which keeps your focus sharp and your momentum strong. Another practical step to sharpen your focus is to create daily rituals. These are small, consistent actions you take every day that reinforce your goals and focus your energy. One example could be starting your day by reviewing your goals and visualizing your desired outcome. You could also end your day by reflecting on the progress you've made and setting your intentions for the next day. By incorporating these rituals into your daily routine, you're training your mind to stay focused on what matters most. It's also helpful to create a distraction-free environment. Your physical surroundings can have a big impact on your ability to focus. If your workspace is cluttered or filled with distractions, your mind will naturally become scattered. Take some time to declutter your space and remove anything that doesn't support your focus. This might mean putting your phone in another room while you work, turning off unnecessary notifications, or creating a specific area dedicated to your goals. Another tool that can help sharpen your focus is time management. A lot of distractions come from not having a clear structure to your day. When you don't plan your time effectively, it's easy to get sidetracked by unimportant tasks or distractions. One technique you can use is called time blocking, where you dedicate specific blocks of time to certain tasks. During these blocks, focus solely on the task at hand and don't allow any other distractions to interfere. This helps you stay on track and ensures that your energy is being directed towards your goals. Another step that can dramatically improve your focus is learning how to say no. Many of us take on too many commitments or try to juggle too many responsibilities at once. This splits our attention and makes it difficult to focus on the things that truly matter. By learning to say no to distractions, unnecessary tasks, or things that don't align with your goals, you free up more time and energy to focus on what's important. This might mean saying no to social events that don't serve your purpose or turning down opportunities that don't align with your vision. It's also important to take care of your physical well-being when trying to sharpen your focus. Your body and mind are deeply connected, and if you're not taking care of your physical health, your ability to concentrate will suffer. This means getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and incorporating physical activity into your routine. When your body is well-nourished and rested, your mind is clearer, and you'll find it much easier to stay focused on your goals. Mindful breathing exercises can also be a quick and effective way to refocus when distractions arise. Throughout the day, especially when you feel your attention slipping, take a moment to pause and take a few deep breaths. This practice helps reset your mind, reduces stress, and brings your attention back to the present moment. It's a simple but powerful tool for sharpening your focus whenever you need it. Lastly, surrounding yourself with the right people is a crucial step in maintaining focus. The people you spend the most time with have a significant impact on your mindset and energy. If you're surrounded by negative, distracted, or unmotivated people, it becomes much harder to stay focused on your goals. On the other hand, when you surround yourself with supportive, driven, and focused individuals, their energy helps keep you motivated and aligned with your vision. In conclusion, sharpening your focus requires a combination of practical steps and consistent effort. Meditation, visualization, writing down and reviewing your goals, setting small tasks, managing your time effectively, and creating a supportive environment are all essential tools for keeping your attention aligned with your desires. By implementing these steps, you'll find it easier to stay focused, motivated, and on track to manifesting the life you want. Before we talk about the practical steps for sharpening your focus, let's take a step back and address something equally important trusting the universe. You see, once you've set your intention and focused your energy on your desires, there's a critical element that often gets overlooked faith. It's not enough to know what you want and work toward it. You also have to trust that the universe is working behind the scenes to bring your desires to life. Many people struggle with this part because trusting the universe requires us to let go of control. We live in a world where we're constantly told that we need to have everything figured out, that we need to plan every detail and work endlessly to make things happen. But the truth is, there's only so much we can control. The universe operates in ways that are beyond our understanding, 
and it's working in your favor even if you can't see it yet. Let's break this down. When you set a goal or focus on a desire, you're sending a clear signal to the universe. You're aligning your thoughts, energy, and actions with that goal. And in doing so, you're activating the process of manifestation. But here's the key. Once you've done this, you need to trust that the universe is aligning things in the background to make your desire a reality. This doesn't mean you sit back and do nothing, but it does mean that you stop stressing about the how and when. One of the hardest parts of manifesting your desires is having patience and trusting the process. We live in a fast paced society where instant gratification is the norm, and it can be frustrating when things don't happen as quickly as we'd like. But the universe doesn't work on our timetable. There's a divine timing to everything, and just because you don't see immediate results doesn't mean that nothing is happening. In fact, some of the most significant shifts occur when you're least aware of them. Think about it this way, when you plant a seed in the ground, you don't expect it to sprout overnight. You water it, you give it sunlight, and then you wait. You trust that in time, it will grow into a plant. The same applies to your goals and desires. Once you set your intention and aligned your focus, you have to give the universe time to work its magic. You won't always see the progress right away, but trust that things are happening beneath the surface. Faith plays a crucial role in staying aligned with your focus. Doubt is one of the biggest obstacles to manifestation, and it often creeps in when we lose trust in the universe. When you doubt whether your desires will come to fruition, you're sending mixed signals to the universe. It's like saying, I want this, but I don't really believe it's possible this kind of energy disrupts the manifestation process and creates resistance. So how do you cultivate faith and trust in the universe? It starts with letting go of the need for control. Understand that you don't need to have all the answers right now. You don't need to know every step of the journey or have everything figured out. Your job is to focus on what you can control your thoughts, your actions, your energy, and let the universe take care of the rest. Trust that the universe knows the best way to bring your desires to you, even if it doesn't happen the way you expect. Letting go doesn't mean giving up. It means releasing the fear and anxiety around your goals and trusting that the universe is supporting you. When you let go of the need to control the outcome, you open yourself up to possibilities that you may not have even considered. Sometimes the universe brings us what we want in ways that are even better than we imagined, but we have to be open to receiving it. There's another key to trusting the universe is detaching from the outcome. This doesn't mean you stop caring about your goals, but it does mean you stop obsessing over them. When you're constantly fixated on whether or not something will happen, you create a sense of desperation which can push your desires further away. Desperation sends a signal to the universe that you don't trust the process, and this creates resistance. Instead, focus on the feeling of having already achieved your goal. Act as if your desire has already manifested and trust that it's on its way. This shift in mindset is incredibly powerful because it aligns your energy with the frequency of abundance rather than lack. When you trust that your desire is already yours, you naturally attract it into your life. One way to strengthen your trust in the universe is through gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you don't have to what you already have, and this creates a powerful vibration of abundance. When you're grateful for the blessings in your life, you're telling the universe that you appreciate what you've been given and this opens the door for more blessings to come your way. Every day, take a moment to express gratitude for the progress you've made, no matter how small. This practice helps you stay connected to the positive energy that fuels manifestation. It's also important to remember that the universe works in ways that we can't always see or understand. Sometimes it might feel like nothing is happening or that things are going in the opposite direction of what you want. But often, these moments are part of a larger plan. The universe might be clearing obstacles out of your path or preparing you for something even better than you imagined. Trust that every experience, even the challenging ones, is part of your journey toward manifesting your desires. Another aspect of trusting the universe is recognizing that setbacks are not failures. Sometimes things don't go as planned and it can be easy to get discouraged, but setbacks are often opportunities in disguise. 
They may be guiding you toward a different path or teaching you a lesson that will ultimately help you achieve your goals. When things don't go your way, instead of giving up, ask yourself, what is the universe trying to teach me? How can I grow from this experience? One of the most important lessons in manifestation is that the universe is always working for you, not against you. Even when it feels like things are falling apart, trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Your job is to stay focused, keep taking aligned action, and have faith that the universe is doing its part. When you trust the process, you free yourself from the burden of worry and anxiety, and this allows your desires to flow to you more easily. It's also helpful to cultivate a sense of surrender. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on your goals, it means trusting that the universe knows the best way to bring them to you. Sometimes we get so attached to how we think things should happen that we block the flow of abundance. By surrendering, you allow the universe to guide you in ways that you may not have considered. This requires faith, but it also opens the door to unexpected opportunities and miracles. Another way to strengthen your trust in the universe is to look for signs. The universe often communicates with us through signs, whether it's a synchronicity, a chance encounter, or a sudden inspiration. Pay attention to these signs and trust that they're guiding you toward your desires. When you acknowledge these signs, you strengthen your connection with the universe and reinforce your faith in the process. Ultimately, trusting the universe is about having confidence in the unseen forces that are working in your favor. It's about letting go of the need for control and allowing the universe to guide you toward your desires in its own time and way. When you trust the process, you align yourself with the flow of abundance, and this is when miracles happen. Faith is the foundation of manifestation. Without it, even the most focused effort can be undermined by doubt and fear. But when you combine focused intention with unwavering trust in the universe, you become a powerful creator of your reality. Trust that everything you desire is already on its way, and know that the universe is always working for your highest good, even when you can't see it. Keep your focus, stay aligned, and trust that the universe will deliver exactly what you need at the perfect time. Before we talk about the final steps in manifesting your desires, we need to understand something crucial the universe is always responding to your energy. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, or what you've been through, the universe responds to the signals you send out. When your focus is clear, when your intentions are strong, and when you trust the process, the universe simply can't ignore you. It has to respond. The universe is a vast, interconnected web of energy, and your thoughts, emotions, and actions are all part of that energy. Everything you put out into the world is like a ripple in a pond It creates waves that travel far beyond what you can see. So when you direct your focus toward a specific goal, you're creating ripples that the universe will reflect back to you. Your energy attracts similar energy, and this is why the universe responds to what you focus on most consistently. It's important to realize that this response doesn't always happen overnight. Sometimes the universe takes its time to align the pieces. There may be moments when you feel like nothing is happening or that your efforts are in vain. But these are the moments when you need to trust the process the most. Just because you can't see the results yet doesn't mean the universe isn't working behind the scenes to bring everything together. The key is to maintain your focus and keep your energy aligned with your desire, even when things seem uncertain. When you focus your attention, you're not just sending out a request to the universe, you're also aligning yourself with the energy of the outcome you want to manifest. This alignment is crucial because the universe responds not just to what you want, but to who you are being. If you're constantly thinking about lack or doubting whether your desires will manifest, you're sending mixed signals and the universe reflects the confusion back to you. But when you remain focused and trust the process, your energy becomes magnetic to the outcomes you seek. The more aligned you are with your goal, the more effortless it becomes to attract it into your reality. Think about it like tuning into a radio station. If you want to hear your favorite song, you have to dial into the right frequency. If you're even a little bit off, the signal is fuzzy and you won't hear the music clearly. The same goes for your relationship with the universe. When you're focused and aligned, the signal is clear and the universe responds to you with precision. 
So how do you maintain this alignment and keep the universe responding to your focus? It starts with being consistent. The universe loves consistency. When you show up every day with the same clear focus, you're building momentum. Each day that you focus on your goal, visualize it, and trust that it's on its way, you're sending a stronger and stronger signal to the universe. Eventually, the momentum builds to the point where the universe has no choice but to respond, and your energy becomes undeniable. This consistency is also about being in the right state of mind. It's easy to get discouraged when things don't happen as quickly as we'd like, but this is when it's most important to stay in a state of belief and trust. When you trust that the universe is working in your favor, you free yourself from anxiety and doubt. You allow the energy to flow more smoothly, and the universe responds with opportunities, synchronicities, and signs that you're on the right path. At this point, you might be wondering, what if I don't see any signs? What if the universe isn't responding? The truth is, the universe is always responding sometimes. We just don't recognize the signs because we're too focused on a specific outcome. The universe may not bring you exactly what you asked for, but it will always bring you what is for your highest good. Often what we think we want is only a small piece of a much larger puzzle, and the universe is putting the pieces together in ways we can't yet comprehend. One of the most powerful things you can do to keep the universe responding to you is to stay open to possibilities. Don't get so fixated on one way of achieving your goal that you close yourself off to other avenues. The universe has infinite ways to bring your desires to you and often the path it chooses is more amazing than anything you could have imagined. Stay flexible, stay open, and allow the universe to guide you toward the best possible outcome. When you trust the universe and keep your focus, something incredible happens you start to notice the signs that the universe is responding. It could be a chance encounter with someone who helps you take the next step toward your goal. It could be a book that falls into your lap with exactly the information you needed. It could be a sudden burst of inspiration or clarity that propels you forward. These are all signs that the universe is responding to your focus and alignment. The key is to stay vigilant and aware of these signs. When you see them, acknowledge them and give thanks. Gratitude amplifies the energy you're putting out and it signals to the universe that you're ready to receive even more. Every time you express gratitude for a sign, no matter how small, you're reinforcing your alignment and strengthening your connection to the universe. As you continue to focus on your desires and trust the universe, you'll notice that things start to shift in ways that feel almost effortless. Opportunities will present themselves, doors will open, and people will come into your life who are aligned with your goals. This is the universe's way of responding to your energy. It's as if the entire universe conspires to help you when you're clear, focused, and trusting in the process. And here's the beautiful part. When the universe responds, it doesn't just give you what you want. It often gives you more than you ever expected. The universe is abundant, and it's always looking for ways to exceed your expectations but you have to be open to receiving this abundance. When you focus on your desires and trust that the universe is working for you, you create space for miracles to happen. You step into a flow where everything you need comes to you at the perfect time. This is the power of focus and trust. The universe can't ignore you when you're clear about what you want, when you're aligned with that desire, and when you trust the process, it has to respond. It's a law of energy what you put out, you get back. And when you're focused on abundance, success, and fulfillment, the universe will mirror that back to you in ways that are beyond your wildest dreams. In those moments when doubt creeps in, remind yourself of this truth the universe is always responding to your energy. Even if you can't see the results yet, trust that they're on their way. Your job is to stay focused, stay aligned, and stay patient. The universe is working behind the scenes to bring your desires to life, and when the timing is right, everything will fall into place. So take control of your focus. Decide today that you're going to direct your energy toward what you truly want, and trust that the universe will respond. You have the power to shape your reality. The universe is your partner in this creation, and when you work together, there's nothing you can't achieve. In the end, the universe can't ignore someone who is clear, focused, and trusting. 
it responds to your energy. And when your energy is strong and purposeful, the universe mirrors that back to you. It's like you've unlocked a hidden code and now everything is aligning in your favor. This is your time. Focus on what truly matters to you. Let go of doubt and trust the process. The universe is listening. It always has been. Keep moving forward with faith, knowing that your energy is shaping your reality. The more you trust, the more you will see that the universe is not only responding, it's actively supporting you in ways you never imagined. Before we wrap up, remember this, you hold the power to shape your reality. By focusing your attention, setting clear intentions, and trusting the universe, you unlock the path to your desires. Start implementing the steps we discussed today, sharpen your focus, cultivate clarity, align your energy, and stay open to the universe's responses. These actions will guide you toward your goals and show you just how powerful your thoughts and intentions can be. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Infinite Inspiration, for more empowering content. We're here to support you on your journey to manifesting your dreams and achieving your fullest potential. Thank you for watching, and remember, the universe is always listening. Stay focused, stay positive, and keep believing. See you in the next video.